So we're here at Hammersmith, we've got the yellow boards out about cash today and a um, bit cold, brain's frozen. Had some guy just speaking to us there a moment ago about, and I've had a couple of women walk past and shake their heads out and, and no, no man really wants to be laughed at or like sm sneered at by women really. And they're laughing about this, they think this is ridiculous and they think that it's kind of um, preposterous that we're even suggesting that something could go wrong if the government had a digital currency in which it could interfere with how and when you spend your money. I personally don't understand how that's ridiculous. And the guy that we were just speaking to, he's just come up and he was telling us, he was arguing the case and saying this is ridiculous. And, and he said that although we're raising some interesting points, the problem is that we're saying that it's a conspiracy. And for some reason he thinks that a conspiracy is something that can only be conducted by poor people who can be you know, arrested by the police and, and prosecuted for it, not by the people who control the police or, or work in government or above government in the, in the banks and so on. He says I was conflating too many ideas. But the thing is that, well, as we said to that guy, he said that three years ago it seemed preposterous that they would lock you in your house or stop you moving. And three years ago it seemed preposterous that they would have mandated medicine. And the chap just denied that that happened. And I wonder whether there's people walking around in denial over the, of what's happened over the past two or three years. because. Because we have had lockdowns, we have had people locked in the house, we've had people arrested for sitting on park benches speaking to their neighbour or to their gran. We've had people prevented from seeing one another. And, and we had mandated medicine for care home workers and for NHS staff. And so it, the, the, the idea that we can't have some, that something is beyond your credulity does not mean that it's not happening. There are, there are plans for a city move out where they would charge people to move whether they're pedestrians, car drivers, bus users or public transport users. He, de he denied that plans exist but you can look it up for yourself, it's from the C40 cities. It doesn't mean it'll come in but it's proposed. These things are also proposed, the central bank digital currency and it's up to us to continue using cash and to resist these things in every way possible so that they don't become reality.